Hey everybody, today we're going to be looking at a nice utility called Ventoy. So Ventoy is a multi-ISO boot utility, meaning that you can create a USB or a external SATA or an external NVMe boot disk, copy as many ISOs that can fit in there and boot off of that. So Ventoy is multi-platform. It does have uh, executables for uh, Windows and Linux, but since we are on Arch Linux, we're gonna set this up uh, the Arch way. So we're gonna do a Paru Ventoy. And you can see here in the AUR, we have a Ventoy uh, binary. We're gonna install that. And we are done. Let's clear the screen. So what we're going to do is uh, run Ventoy uh, web. Okay. However, we're going to run this as sudo uh, Ventoy web. Hit enter. And as you can see, it runs a local uh, server on your computer, uh, web server. So just click the link and it will take you to Ventoy. So here we go. Uh, there's a couple of options. Uh, you can select uh, secure boot. Uh, partition style, partition configuration, uh, set your languages, but we're going to leave it as default. Make sure you select your external USB boot disk or in my case the uh, NVMe external drive. I'm going to click that and I'm going to hit install. We're going to hit OK. It gives you another warning just to make sure because it's going to format it. We're going to hit OK again and there we go. That's how easy it was. It's all done. If we look at Gparted again, and if we do a refresh, you can see here that it has formatted it uh, as an XFAT uh, for you know uh, the majority of the space. However, there's the boot uh, right here, which is at 32 uh, megabytes of uh, boot space. And it's just that simple. So the next step, what we're going to do is we're going to minimize this, go to our computer, you look here, that's the Ventoy device. We have all of our uh, space here. I have a bunch of ISOs that I want to copy. So if I go to my ISO folder, select all of those, copy it down here. And we are done. So you can see here I've got different uh, editions of uh, Linux here. I've got Windows here and I've also got Clonezilla. One really nice tool I like to use is Hiren's Boot CD to diagnose uh, any computer issues. So I can just uh, download that, download the ISO file. Let's go over here, download, and click here. And I will copy this straight to my uh, Ventoy drive and hit save. And we are done. So let's close this off. And you can see here, so the refresh, Hiren's boot CD is over here. And now whenever I reboot my computer uh, on my motherboard, I have to hit the F11 key and select the boot device. In my case, I'll select the, uh, a, uh, the Strix Arion. And I'll be presented with a uh, boot screen and I can select the ISO to boot from. This way I don't have to burn a particular ISO on a USB stick and have that specific ISO only on that USB stick. I can have multiple ISOs and boot at will whichever ISO I want. So hopefully you found that interesting and helpful. This is a tool I use all the time. It's saved my bacon many, many times. If you like this video, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and don't forget subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much and goodbye.